We're given that the integral from 1 to 2 of x squared divided by 1 plus x to the 4 dx equals a, where a is some positive real number, which we're told that we're not, we shouldn't attempt to determine. And what we want to know is what is the value of the integral from 1 to 2 of x to the minus 2 divided by 1 plus x to the 4 dx. And all five of the options here depend on a. Now, you can actually eliminate a couple of the answers just by thinking intuitively about the size of this integral. Um, so, for example, this thing here is clearly going to be positive, and so it can't be b, for example. Um, we can also see that this thing here, because x is going from 1 to 2, x is bigger than 1, and so x to the minus 2 is going to be less than x squared. So this integral, if I call it j, and this integral i, j should be less than i. Um, so we can perhaps eliminate some options based off of that as well. Um, uh, actually, I'm not sure if we can. Maybe we can. Anyway, the way we're going to solve this is by uh, considering what we get when we add these two integrals together. And this is a very common technique, but can be quite cool if you've not seen this before. So if we add them up, because the integral limits are the same, we can just put them straight into one integral. And in fact, because they have the same denominator, I can just put them in like this. OK, cool. This is great. And now, how does this help me? Well, notice that the top and bottom are actually quite similar. If I write this, uh, if I take out a factor of x to the minus 2 from the top, this becomes x to the 4 plus 1 over 1 plus x to the 4 dx. And you can see that that guy and that guy cancel quite nicely. And this is just the integral from 1 to 2 of x to the minus 2 dx, which we can evaluate. So that's going to be minus 1 over x from 2 to 1. Plugging in 2, you get minus a half. Plug in 1, you get uh, minus 1 over 1. And so this is just going to equal a half. So i plus j equals a half. And i, we actually know, is a. So rearranging this, we get j equals a half minus a. And so the answer here is e.